You're listening to the Wired for Impact podcast. Where do you like in the world? If, because you've made a very convincing case that the U.S. is not going to be pretty. Where, where are some other places that you would recommend or that you'd like? So initially, just on the comment about the U.S., there could be a possibility you'll get a super spike in the dollar first, but then after that, a big crash. So initially, you might feel we are the best place because there's a shortage of dollars out there. So the dollar milkshake theory of Brent Johnson does play a role, but that doesn't mean it ends well for you later, subsequently. The other reason- I've, I've so, been telling people that the US dollar is like the stern of the Titanic. Like- Yeah, you, it goes you, up. Yeah, up. yeah, it's going up, but the whole fucking thing is going down. Everybody's scurrying to it, but it's going down. Like if you understand- You just killed me on the analogy front there. That was brilliant. <laughs> Luke's about a five. And that it's, it's part of the death knell that you go up. And that the Titanic stern is brilliant. So back to your question, which I've almost got to make sure that I'm answering uh, correctly. Where was the geography wise? So again, I don't think there's one single place that is Nirvana. You don't go through the cupboard and you're in Narnia. Fortunately, as I said in the beginning, there's no perfection. However, there are, and generally when they're trying to capture us, they're capturing all governments in in this position. So they're not leaving any obvious escape routes. However, as arbitrage and complex systems work, there are cracks for us cockroaches to disappear into. As a result of that, you need to look at countries. Often it comes down to enforcement. Many of the countries will sign up to the World Health uh, Organization's protocols. Some are resisting, and many of them are in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe got their communism. They got done. I don't think they're going to get hit as hard. A lot of hardworking people, beautiful countryside, cheap property that can be purchased with dollars, welcomed. There's great banking. We do banking through Bank of Georgia in Georgia. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You will have multi-currency accounts, Swiss francs. You can have dollars. You can have a lot of things. We help people open remotely without you even having to go there for a very reasonable price. That's part of what we do in our community, and it's a service. Mm. I mean, I'm not coming here to sell you. I'm just telling you. We, 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 we've we got a plan for our community because they're all facing the same things. You can be in Eastern Europe. You can buy pr- uh, property. You can get seaside property. You can be on the Black Sea. You can be a beautiful. You can actually have a great a life. If you're a single guy, there's beautiful woman. If you're a woman, a lot of freedom, a lot of things to like about Eastern Europe. Everybody thinks, oh, Paris, London, Munich, talk about pop music. Let me tell you, go go off the streets. Russians go skiing in Bulgaria. There's great runs for winter sports there. There's a big-ass old world out there, and that's the difficult thing for Americans. You have South African syndrome. We have beautiful countries with lots of diversity, and you don't, people don't look beyond the border. But mm-hmm. actually there is. And you need to have... It's called five flags. Essentially, you want to have passport being different to your residence, where you're a tax resident, to being different to where your bank account is, to being different to where your company that you are running is incorporated. So Mm -hmm. you want to absolutely, you know what I said, be a boor, snipe these bastards, shoot them them off, being the biggest pain in the ass possibly be. This is how you do it to them. You make it very hard for them to attack you because who owns you? Technically, maritime law is everything about your birth certificate, corporations, and everything. They own you. And when you get a passport in that country and a birth certificate in that country, they think they own you. Therefore, your tax is due to you. America, you have a terrible tax system. I would hand back my citizenship as an American because they want to tax you on anything you earn anywhere else. I would look at establishing businesses elsewhere. You could even still do business in America to America. Americans, as an American working out of Europe, give up your passport and have a Mexican passport, actually quite a good passport, by the way. And you won't get hijacked and dragged in the special room when the Iranians hijack a 747. So, I mean, or Irish, you know, many of you are sons or descendants of Polish, Irish, you know, we're immigrant nations, South Africa and America, and you, you can make lay claim. Get busy. More passports, more citizenships, more travel offshore away from your country. Make it business travel for your establishment of your five flags policy, following Francis's reset. Guess what happens? If you give up your citizenship in America, you start making money 
in America as a now a non-American that has a Mexican or an Irish or a Polish passport or even one of the Eastern European countries, you're going to travel with ease almost anywhere. No one's going to resent you because people are stupid. They don't realize not the American citizens. No one's going to resent you for backing Israel in shooting Palestinian kids. You're going to have some of these neutral countries' passports. It's great. You can go and, uh, you can go and run a business. Uh, online is great. Uh, online business you can incorporate in Panama. We help people with foundations and incorporating in Panama. They run a territorial system. If you're not selling product in Panama, they're not interested. You don't owe them any money. So you could have a Panama business, which is not very far. You fly into Miami, Panama City, very easy. You can have set that up. We help you with the best people that do it. And it's not just the setup and the opening. You need people that can help you with the bank accounts. Unless you speak Spanish and you're good or you're a quick learner of languages. And then you need to understand how they work and how they're different and how it's clunky and the websites are different and all of this. We have enablers that not just set you up but hold your hand through the whole process so that you can wow. do a return and you have a full on business. So now you have a full on business that's open. You do your online drop shipping business or whatever. You've got a, a, a British passport or some other passport that doesn't tax globally. And you live some of the time in America, but not enough to be deemed tax resident. You can live some of the time in Panama, you travel, you, you live some, you have a home, you own a home in the Eastern European country that you bought cheap. You can buy for $50,000 a house with an acres plot in some mm. of these Eastern European countries. And they will have good quality people. They're not running around ransacking homes. Well, most people, most reasonable people like us, Apart from this bacteria, this transnational bacteria that is a virus on, in its own right, that is psychotic, are live and let live people, you know, yeah. everyone. Yeah. And regardless of color and ethnicity and language, treat people with respect, be friendly and amiable. And you know what? You get on just fine. You get on just fine in most places. It's the system. That's the disease. It's the government. That's the disease. It's the people yeah. orchestrating the rules and pulling the stuff. That's who you're at war with. You want all the fragmented Joe, Joe soaps to be your friend and to be with you and to be awake. And when we do yeah. that, when the whole world is not cooperating, it becomes a real problem. You know, then they have to go to hot wars on us. And then you've got, you know, people that are armed. And then, you know, prime ministers have to hide and a lot of people. Then there's no hiding and then there's no doubt. So, you know, at the moment they run this very devious snaky war where they're thinning the herd. But it's a war. So start on that journey. And we help people start on that journey. We have Canadians, Americans that are our Panamanian residencies. We have guys with Bank of Georgia accounts with multi-currency. You can do business. I, I, I've got a bank account here. And it was just a savings account. I have to upgrade it. And it sometimes has limits. I'm using my Bank of Georgia account. Here, here I've used it in Colombia. I've used it in Panama. I've used it in America. Never been declined. As long as the money's there, goes through, everything goes fine. I get my text if I need to do a text. I mean, get broad. And banks generally, you can't have too many of them, but you don't want to have too much money in the banking system. But I actually think I'm safer with dollars in a bank of georgia account not by a massive amount i'm not going to keep ridiculous amounts then dollars in bank of america mm -hmm. ironically mm -hmm. from uh, the service because i think that whole eastern part that european eastern is going to be better treated than what's coming for america and europe and yeah. north america let me say and because it includes canada and also the Commonwealth of Australia and New Zealand. Thank you for listening to this episode of Wired for Impact. If you're interested in creating and expanding your impact, be sure to visit us online at impactnow.com.